Welcome to the eVault LTS2 web portal. Point your browser to my.lts2.evault.com and enter the username and password for your account. The eVault LTS2 landing page gives you an overview of your account, the total number of containers, objects, and cloud capacity used. From here, you can download your usage details in a CSV format, opening it in your favorite spreadsheet program. From the administration link, you can manage users and groups. Permissions to containers are managed at the group level. Adding new users sends a welcome email to the entered email address with a link for them to set their password. By default, the name on the account is just the email address until the user logs in and edits their profile. Each user account can be enabled or disabled by administrators simply by clicking the Enable or Disabled button next to the account. However, user accounts cannot be deleted. These user objects are maintained for the life of the LTS2 account to ensure the provenance of their activities. Clicking the Manage Group link enters the Group Administration page. Add a new group by clicking the Add New Group button. Enter the group name and description for the group and then click the Add button to create the new group. Users may be added to one or more groups. To add a user to the group, Click the View Users button and then the Add User to Group button. Select the user from the drop-down menu and click Add. Click the Containers link at the top of the screen to open the list of current containers in your account. To assign permissions to each container, click the Permissions button and set the Read-Write permissions for each group. To create a new container, click the Create Container button and enter a new container name. You can only delete containers that do not contain any objects or subfolders. Click the container name to enter the account and see the objects and subfolders. From within the container, you can create new subfolders using the Create Folder button or upload individual objects using the Upload an Object button. If you have multiple objects to upload simultaneously, you can use the Advanced Upload button. Objects can be downloaded from anywhere using the browser interface. Just click the Download button and the file will be saved to the local machine. You can copy data between containers in the cloud using the Copy button. Just enter the path to the new container that you'd like to place a copy of the object. From your profile link, you can edit your user nickname and account password. Click the S3 Credentials link to manage S3 key pairs for use with S3 API tools associated with this account. Add or remove new access and secret key pairs to align with your security policies. That covers the basic functionality of the eVault LTS2 Web UI portal.